Welcome back, guys. All right. Testing, testing. Can we hear this? Okay. I have sound over there. Always have to make sure the laptop at least can hear me. All right. So... After we ended the stream yesterday, I went back in the game, started playing some more, and oh my god, it's starting to get really good, and yeah, one of them. Hopefully, in today's stream, we will be able to finish winter, to finish the main storyline, to find out what the heck is going on. We'll see. We found out, well, I did offline. Um, Mayor soft in the head on business. Um, he was actually up to no good. He did a little shady business on the side. And it yeah like what the hell what the hell even his own dad Bruno was a little upset at what the heck was going on so shall we jump in we're going to have to jump screens to make sure everything is on so let's Jump in and see what we can do. Hold on. There we are. Okay. Turn up the game sound so that y'all can... Well, my main sound, I should say. My speakers. Let's continue. Ooh, Tuesday late at night. Oh yeah, that's right. I was going to go do something and it got to be a little late. So I got what I needed out of here. We'll have to go by uh, Lena. And that's another big development. Ooh, yeah. We'll see what we can find out. Well, let's send Tara mm. to bed. Is it time for bed? Yes. <sighs> okay, so in here we are still waiting on these dragon blood trees i can't use any potion to make them go any faster because they're not a planted crop of any kind i tried nothing will really work it just ugh, it takes them so dang long so dang long we made up a few more like summon the storm um incantations i can kind of wait on this one we do need to make create craft whatever um a few at least 14 or so luck pick incantations for this so we can get some artifacts and whatever for Giva. Oh, and Giva made it known to Tara. She wants to be more than just close friends. So we may go that route. We may look into that. And let's see. Oh, Damon wants paper. So, yes. Okay, we can go make paper for Damon. 
I don't have a barn or or anything that I can do for Shelby, so this will stay in our to-do list for a while. All right, in the meantime, I'm gonna make 10 sheets of paper, five of them will go to Damon, and then we'll have some more, well, you know, others that we can use for incantations and whatnot. Okay, so now we can take that to Damon. Ooh, we got more honey. Awesome. <clears throat> we planted uh, some more black tea. Come here! Come here, come here! Hi, kitty. I don't have anything, you know, I don't have milk or any kind of fish for you, so... I've been kind of slacking in that area with my kitty. We are going to run around, see if I catch any more weeds or mushrooms. Nothing. Okay. Ooh. Chicken Little's out. Okay, let's go buy her. Hi. Come here. I do believe, yeah, I am growing some more. No, wait a minute. I don't have any more grapes to grow for, for her. So I have to go buy Lena and go buy some. All right. So we got that. We got whatever watering. Ooh, I didn't go in the greenhouse. Oh, I'll come back and do that. Ooh, dirt pile. I still have not found that one recipe I have been looking for forever in a day. And I don't know when and if I'll need it. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, nothing, nothing. We had already grabbed the blackberries. I think it was um, some I did last night. Ooh, wait, fish. I need one more dang salmon. Or no, not salmon. I do need a shrimp. But a shrimp is down by the beach. Ooh, let me get this recipe. Let me get this recipe. No, no go away, you little fish. No, go get your little butt. Okay, come on, fall, fall. <gasps> no, oh, I want the fish, but I want the recipe. Come on. Oh, yeah. Is that a bottle? Okay, a fried With the flounder. recipe inside. Don't think I ever got that one before. I know they're all little fish. All right. Okay, so we know from Bruno's little tip that shrimp do not like worms. I have constantly tried the chub, the, the small teeny weeny fish. And I have tried crickets, but I kept coming up with um, squid or everything else except for what I need. 
Oh, Wednesday. 140. Okay. We can always catch Damon a little later. DJ! Hi, DJ. Let me pause so I can do this. Hi. This oil's been whispering stories to me lately. Oh. I used to think I was losing my mind. But I've done this long enough to know all farmers learn to hear its voice. Cool. I'm still um in super stream. <laughs> I haven't lurked or anything again. I just kind of quietly, you know, walked out so I could come do this. Um, I have them tabbed up so I can always, you know, go back and look and see how, how everything is going. I would just have to go into OBS and mute my mic, pause the game, you know, go check on Super and, you know. Ooh, Shelby, what do you got for me today? The fairy being out is making people even more anxious. You can feel the tension every time you walk through town. Just another reason to avoid town, I reckon. Not that I needed one. People become even more dangerous when they feel trapped. Oh, Parker can fix it soon. Yeah, and I gave all the supplies to Zephyr, so why hasn't she helped? Hmm, I don't know, that's weird. All right, give me a worm. I want that big fish. Um, oh, thank you, DJ. Come on. Yo, big fish. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right, nope, little, little. Medium? Nope, little. There we go. Kind of big fish, all right. Get another worm. Come here, big fishy. Oh, dang, and I have a recipe. Oh, I want the fish, but I want the recipe. No, go away. Go away, fish. Go away. Go away. Oh, oh yeah. Hang on. This this isn't a fish. It's some kind of recipe. What? Rumble de thumps. Okay, this is a new recipe for me. I've never seen that before. Wesley, where are you going? I'm supposed to live in Milkwater, but now that the ferry's broken down, I'll just have to tell everyone I'm staying with Damon, even though I'd never really stay there. It's the definition of bachelor pad. Okay. But you have a home in Ravenwood Hollow. Well, your store is in Ravenwood Hollow. All right, 6.30. Yo. Oh, good. Damon's there, but I see a lot of people here. Come here. You're going to talk to me. I apologize. I, I don't mean to be rude, but I, I can't handle talking to you right now, Tara. Wow. Okay. You know what? Screw you, Parker. The first best time to fish is in the morning. The second best time is whenever you want. Parker's a little mad at Tara because we, you know, kind of, sort of, yeah. Here's your paper, Damon. So, what are you writing your mom about? Thanks. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I might be telling her about a new friend who's becoming kind of special to me. 
Whoa, writing your mom? That's kind of a big step, isn't it? Is it? Well, I could leave it off, I guess. Thanks again for the paper. I hope you get to meet my ma someday. She's a really cool lady. Well, yeah, but I'm not... Oh, man, no. We are not intimate friends. No, no, no. 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 I... No, just no. Just no. All right, we need to... Wait a minute, how, how many? I got seven. Okay. We need to go check on those dragon blood tree thingies, whatever. Okay, come on, Violet, let's. Yeah. Let go of me. What the hell? How many more days am I looking? Two more frigging days. Really? Come on. <sighs> Alright, so we got two more days to wait for all that because it drips real slow. I'm probably going to have to upgrade Tara's wand in order to get in here, but it's still going to be too much for me and Violet to go through. So who else is going to have to come in? Oh, crap. And there's really not much going on in the circle. Witchcraft can make any task easier. It can make the lives of those around you easier. You must keep working at it, but don't ignore the rest of your life. It is a balance. Yeah, but I do ignore the rest of it. Mind that no one finds your sanctum. It'll be hard to explain that before Otto and his neighborhood watch. Yeah, and that neighborhood watch. You got neighbors watching neighbors looking for malcontents. There are really no malcontents. There are witches. Everybody who is back here. But as long as we have our brooms charged up, we can, you know, zoom away and not be noticed. Is all the secrecy and fancy speech getting to you yet? <laughs> is it that obvious? <laughs> I was the same at the start. It's annoying, but worth it. Yeah, well, no. I wish I could say that some of the things Shelby, uh, excuse me, the Farseer has said are starting to make sense, but that would be a lie. I still can't figure out what he means half the time. That's true. I agree to that one. I do wish you had been able to meet Giacomo. He was brilliant in every way. We totally need to do a bring your familiar to coven night. Amira's told me so much about her red fox. Yeah. Violet has a kitty not like Tara, but she also has a cat as a familiar. And I wish in the game we could choose between which one we wanted, because I like Violet's cat so much better. Black cats are fine, but no, Violet's cat is... Yeah. Very cute. Oh, let's see. Oh, dang. Yeah, I don't want that. It'll take too much. That's three. And we'll give it four. Okay, magic. Oops. Magic is set.
Then we'll do a little running around in the woods. Besides what wood is there, I did want to go ahead and pick up everything else that I can that's useful. We may... Oh, wait a minute. How many do I have? Oh, no. I kind of took that out. Shoot. Nope, I got little fish in there anyway. Ooh. Okay, I see two kind of sort of big fishes. Alright, let's go with the cricket. Ooh, recipe! Fish, go away, go away. No, oh my god, I want the fish, but no, go away, I want the recipe! Go away. No, I'm sorry. Go away. Come here. Recipe. Come here. Oh, yeah. Well, it took all that, and now it's time that to hurry and get home. like a fish. Ooh, a Spanish. It's a recipe. Omelet. Ooh. Okay. Alright, I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Oh. One little lonely flower. Alright. Well, since everybody basically went to bed, Tara can fly back home. Whoosh. There we go. Should I go to bed? <sighs> Alright, so remember we have two more days left to, you know, of the the, the dragon blood and we're waiting for all that to be done because we have to turn the seasons we got to turn it to spring and yeah that's gonna mm, yeah all right so I need two of those copper vials No, I don't want you. Hello? Oh, shoot. I forgot I didn't have anything in that one. Okay, so... Can... Is there a way... Can I... Are they permanently set in here? Hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> and this little snowy, rainy type weather that is in the game. Yeah. I follow um, two of our weather guys on Twitter. Yeah, and we're probably going to be getting that crap too in real life. Yay. Now, this is Tara's familiar, all black, little gray tuft right here. Violets is kind of like a calico kind. And I... Come here. I want Violet's cat. It's just... It is so dang cute. Um, you're not bringing me any fish. Why? Okay, I see a big fish. Is there going to be a recipe popping up? Oh, no, go away, little fish. Oh, yeah. Okay, no recipe, just the two fish. All right, so what are you? A shad. Okay. Me?
Oh, good. I was gonna say, wow. I have no little dig spots. Yeah, I can't tell in the distance if there are any fish over there. <clears throat> Alright, nothing over here, so let's go check the little pond, lake, whatever. Alright, what do we got? Nope, small fish. And, nope, small fish. Okay. I hate this running. We're gonna... We're gonna fly down to the beach. Alright, nothing going on, nothing going on. Ooh, alright, I see two big fish. Okay. Oh, quick. oh yeah. Oh crap. Not what I wanted. Cricket. I see a lobster type fish. I want that to be a shrimp. No, nope, go away. No, go away. <gasps> Got one. Bruno said shrimp don't like worms. So you figure either. Oh, damn it, it's a squid. No, not what I wanted. Okay, bananas. Um, what do we got? We got a long fish. All right, we're gonna throw out another cricket. Oh, yes, yeah. caught the big one right away. Woohoo! Snapper, I'll take it. <clears throat> Would prefer another shrimp. Hey, all I'm seeing are little fish. What the hell? <sighs> all right, I only have crickets, so we're gonna have to do it because I see another claw fish. Come on. No, I don't want you. Go away. Oh, quick! Please be a shrimp. Please be a shrimp. Yes! Hot dang. Now I can go buy Bruno, give him all of these, and go get my money. Woo, yay. All right, but in the meantime, I'm gonna get one of these big fishes. Ah. Nope, go away, little fish. Oh, yeah. Herring? Me? Eh, it's all right. Ooh, okay. Come on. Come on, big fish. Ooh, recipe. <gasps> Dang it. Come on, recipe. Oh. Oh, no, go away. Come on, recipe, fall. Ah, oh, crap. Come on, come on, fall. Fall. Oh, yeah. What is it? Oh, I found something. A recipe. Cocokina? Ooh, peanut butter rolls. Oh, that sounds so good. All right. Little fish. Nothing there. 
Um, wait a minute. Bruno might be at the bar. <laughs> I knew Giva would be exonerated in the end. I just knew it. I'll have to reach out to Parker and see how he's doing. He must be feeling very confused right now. Um, no, he's a little pissed off, especially at Lena and at Tara now. So, you know, yeah, go away. Ooh, Marty, what's going on? I don't mind the cold. Frozen poop makes less of a mess when you step in it, at least. Yeah, way to see the bright side there, Marty. <sighs> right? Ew. All right, I don't see Bruno inside there. Damn, Bruno. I love the rain. What I don't love is the cold fogging up my display cases. Um, yeah, you got a point there. Giacomo had this way of making me laugh no matter how upset I was about something. Even when he was sick, he would make a face or crack some joke. Uh, he could have helped bring our community through this moment of crisis. I know it. True. Very true. Ooh, super ended. Who did he go to? Ah, uh, okay. Kai, tell me you still don't go paddling out in this cold. I surely do. Nothing my four mil full suit and boots can't handle. Ooh, okay. Yay, Bruno! Looky there. You done me a favor the size of a prize winning tuna. Yeah, but guess what? I got money. <laughs> Look at Arno over there. Who's Arno? Uh, Damon, I mean. Arno's his pa. Ran this place before he and Kaya went back to South Africa. Damon wipes down the counter just the way Arno did it. Juliet said something about Vanessa accusing her of cheating on a math <gasps> test. Like Juliet or Sophia need more scrutiny from the softs right now. I hope this blows over. Oh, wow. Yeah, Vanessa... Vanessa is shady. Whew. It's bitter cold out. I might just stay in my house until spring like a... A groundhog. I was gonna say like a bear, but sure. Oh yeah, speaking of... Nope, I am not gonna close my windows just yet. I opened them up a couple of days ago because it was starting to get, uh, well, we went back to having nice temperatures, you know, for being fall, the end of October, but yeah. All right, I already talked to Angus. I don't really need to be at the circle. Um, the dragon's blood trees should have one more day, so we'll get them tomorrow. We can just have a early night. Wait, did I even, I got inside the greenhouse, yes? Yes. The rain took care of that. Ooh, oranges. All right, so let's see how everyone's doing. All right, so we are brewing up some more levitation potion for our broom. Hmm, is it time for bed? Yep, go to bed. <sighs> Hopefully, we can get the dragon blood thingies, whatever, to 
day. I've got enough juice and broom that we can go flying. Ooh, do I have black tea? Yes. Woohoo! Friday, which means Lena should be open. I can definitely go get some some more um, not in season seeds because I need grapes. So I can give my chicky her grapes. We'll find out from Parker if he'll talk to us and agree. Um, I want to be able to clear this whole area right here so he can work on the barn and get that up and running. Well, at least find out how much for the barn. And... Uh, um, clear out this area so we can get a bigger vegetable patch garden area going. Now, for those of you who don't know the game, Tara hadn't seen her grandma in 20 years. Her dad kept her away from Fairhaven, this whole little town, that long. When Tara finally was able to come to Fairhaven, she had, if you will, you know, quote unquote, about a month to hang out with grandma, learn the ins and outs of working on the farm, maintaining it, and everything else. At the end of spring, grandma had passed. So we have gone through, you know, practically a whole year, um, which is basically the whole main storyline. When we are done with winter and we get back into spring, that's technically the end of the, the, the main storyline, kind of sort of the end of the game. But you do continue playing. You can continue playing. Messenger Cameron mentioned that he's running low on candles. He says he writes better sermons by candlelight. Oh, well, all right. I'll see what I need. Maybe I can make some candles. Just got to get a machine. Um, Francis here, he's the newest witch in the coven. Um, the coven was able to call... Him fourth. You look like someone died, Francis. Mm. Just my happiness. Yeah. I hate the cold and I hate snow. Yep. Even when it's fresh? Yep. Especially when it's fresh. It melts in my hair and ruins my styling cream. I look like an elderly shih tzu. Oh! Bah humbug to you Ooh. two. <laughs> an elderly shih tzu. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. Oh, don't you love winter? No. Nope. I've already got the currants for my plum pudding soaking. A secret Seton family recipe. Okay, can I have some? Yo, dude. This is Mayor. <laughs> Doesn't do anything soft on business. 
Does Vanessa seem on edge to you? Well, you were meeting a strange lady who's not your wife, so uh, she might not be that happy with you right now. Yeah, that's probably it. You know, because you were a stupid moron. Okay, I'll grab some more crocuses. Wait a minute, don't I have... You know what, as long as I'm heading down that way... Because we may... Depending on the little dragon blood thingies... How many days? Six days? Actually, I'll wait. Alright, so we are going to pick all that up. I wonder, can... Mm, I want to take this little bee house and put it inside here. But I don't know if I can move it that far. Because that would be perfect. Okay, well that's something we can think about. All right, so I have that and I have that. Okay, so we'll go Deliver those. Get some more money. Doofus. Violet! We weren't really an observant family, but Dad used to always drag us off island to go to Midnight Mass and Milk Water and Noche Buena. Sebastian fell asleep in my lap every single time. Aww. Oh, we got the kids. Hello. Kai's always leaving for something new. I want to too, but I'm not sure what I should be looking for. I don't know what to tell you, buddy. Uh, Marty, 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 Marty. And not to brag, but I gained 12 followers over the past three days. Mm-hmm. You are looking at an up and coming Pixta Twit star. I'm looking at a doofus who wanted to come to our island and buy everyone's property. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. I already talked. Sorry. Come here. Dude, come here. Emmy keeps talking about expanding into the winter market with our lemonade stand. But who wants to drink warmed lemonade? Yuck! Not sure that's what she meant, Finn. What then? Lemonade popsicles? In winter? Sure. Why not? Mommy and Daddy only talk to each other when Finn and me are in the room. They're trying to act normal. They don't think we notice anything. But we do. Oops. Hmm? Yeah. All right, Parker, um, I got flowers. This is quality stuff. I don't know how I'll make it up to you, Tara. Uh, you can make it up to me by talking to me, but I wanna check something first. All right, so how much is that? 15, okay. How much is the barn? 18, okay. Giant tool shed, ooh, 2,000, that ain't bad. All right, and how much for the spacious greenhouse? <gasps> 5,000, come on, it was 5,000 for the regular greenhouse, what the hell? All right. 
I apologize. I, I don't mean to be rude, but I, I can't handle talking to you right now, Tara. Yeah, well, you're going to talk to me whenever I give you money and supplies to have you build me crap. Nothing down here. Oops. All right. I see something here. Yes, I need that. All those logs. Yeah, we'll get to them in time. Oop. See that too? I see Juliet. We'll go back and talk to her. I don't mean to keep breaking curfew. I know I'm making mom anxious, but I'm full of this like nervous energy. This feeling that something's about to happen. Something is about to happen, but I can't say just yet. Okay. Please be ready, please be ready, please be ready. Please be ready. I waited. <gasps> yes! We have what we need, but I, um, like, tapped five trees. Oh, hell yeah! Okay, so, find dragon's blood trees in the gloaming and tap them to get dragon's blood sap. I've already done that. I've got eight. We only needed five, but I've got eight. Nice. Woohoo! All these years, I thought Amira just had an appreciation for fine jewelry. I wonder how many of these wraith things she's caught with jewels she bought from my store. Ooh, good question, Francis. The Farseer's advice may seem unclear, but if you really listen, Everything he says makes sense in the end. But it's the things that he says and how he says it that makes us go, huh? Nope, don't want that. Come here. It took me ages to get this far in the coven. But don't give up. You'll get the hang of it. I had a chat with Ariel about what the fairy folk actually want for offerings. These days, even they have modern taste. Okay. Mind that no oh. one finds your sanctum. We already know that, Shelby. I'm not letting anybody find out. I have the dragon's blood you asked for. Is dragon's blood really this color? I'm not sure to tell the truth, but the sap from the tree is full of magic straight from the wellspring. <laughs> then it's perfect for turning the seasons. I'll be back when I have the incantation. Okay, so I need a... Spear of Flame and the Spring Ritual. So we are about, you know, soon to say goodbye to, to winter and say hello to spring again. It may be said by some that the Farseer speaks in riddles, but that's only because so much of magic is unknowable, and what we do know is always changing. Yes, I have the spring incantation. All right. We already went around the woods, so we know there's nothing more there that I need to look for. I can head home.
Excellent. All right, well then it's a good thing I did pick up all the flowers. Cool. We didn't exactly get what we needed at Lena's. Eh, eh. All right, Amira, is she going to be open on Saturday? Yes. All right. Lena. Yes, Lena's there on Saturday as well. Good. Okay. Good. That helps. All right, we're going to take one more little look on everything that we did plant is watered. Oops, go away. Alright, what do I need? I just need that. Okay. That's going to take four hours. Oops, sorry. So it'll be done by, you know, the time Tara wakes up in the morning. Then we can make the spirit flame. Oh no, well, wait, no, that's winter. Hello, fall, summon, spring. There we go. Okay, so, ooh, actually, Wow, I just need some ink and a spirit flame, and then we'll get it done. Cool. Okay. All right. So I've got everything to write the incantation. We just need the extra materials and, you know, juice to get it all done. Woohoo! Sweet. Am I ready for bed? Yes. All right. I am going to take a little break right now. My tummy is doing a little number, so give me about five minutes, ten minutes tops. Oops. Let's put the controller over here so I can, so I can reach. So in the meantime, if you guys need to, get up, walk around, stretch, grab something to, to drink. If you're a little hungry, grab something to eat, grab a munchie, whatever. I shall return in about five, ten minutes. So see you guys then.
All right, I'm back. Hi, guys. Hope you all were able to get up and stretch, grab something to drink or, you know, eat, whatever. All right, let's get back into the game. Hopefully it'll come up. Yeah, man. All right, there we go. Get my controller. Okay, so we got the incantation. We can start writing it all out. Um, we can actually, let's do that now. We can write the incantation. Where is my spring? All right, so we've got the incantation written. This one is going to take eight hours. So we'll just have to wait. And then on tomorrow, on Sunday, we should be able to turn the season. And we'll have Francis with us to help. Okay, what do I got over here? Um, ooh, looks like limes already. Nice. Nope, don't want that. Come here. Potatoes! That's good because we can use potatoes for some of the recipes. All right, greenhouse is done. Go visit our chicken. We'll need to, we'll have to wait until tomorrow, but we'll need to go visit Marty to get more feed. After this one, we'll have 17 left for a chicken nugget there. All right, chicken nugget is ready. Go say hi to our kitty. Oh, such a good cat. Yep, Cleopatra is, she is a good cat. I see a couple of dirt piles. Ooh, blackberries, yes. All right, I see a fish. Okay, good, we have a chub. Let's see what you are. Please be a, oh, recipe. <gasps> Yes, come on. Oh, no, quick. go away, little fish. Come on, fall recipe. Oh, yeah. Please be the one I want. Please be the one I want. Hang on. Nope. This isn't a fish. It's some kind of recipe. Peking duck. Okay. I'm not quite seeing, looks like little fish over there. 
All right, let's go say hi to Giva. Hi. I've never understood people who say, nice weather, isn't it? All weather is nice. No, it ain't. All weather is not nice. The only nice weather is, you know, not too hot, warm days, sunny, maybe a few clouds, you know, nice little breeze. Yeah, that's a nice day. Okay, so we've got... Oh, good. Oh, pine cone. All right. I was hoping for another little dirt pile. But I suppose... All right, do we have... Oh, hello, doofus. My poor Vanessa has really been feeling the strain of this prolonged winter. And now she can't visit her family in Milkwater. Aww. She always models perfect composure, but I can tell it's getting to her. Oh, boo-hoo. So I... <laughs> nope, go away. There. I do have to find out from... Zephyr as to why they're not working on the boat. Although it is part of the main storyline, we are, you know, getting there, so it's not quite ready to be done yet. Okay. I can't do the running. It's going to take too long, so... Uh... Ooh! <laughs> With Parker right there. <laughs> I apologize. I, I don't mean to be rude, but I, I can't handle talking to you right now, Tara. Fine. Eh. Okay, we have to give this one to Amira. I don't know if she's working today, so we'll have to check. Oh, Lena. Ah, oh, the beginning of spring will be such a relief. And maybe a chance for a fresh start. I hope. Okay. Grapes, yes. Um, yeah, I can spare 200. Cool. All right. We'll get eight more strawberries. Ten corn. Definitely get some more wheat. Get six of those. Get ten more tomatoes. Cabbage? Um... Yeah, it should be good enough. Alright, um... Amira, please be working, please be... Yes, she is! Woohoo! Yes! You brought the ingredients I asked for. They're just what I needed. I wouldn't want anyone to stay sick when I can help. I've had many a remedy in my day, but yours is the most potent, my friend. Poor Shelby. Okay, so we got that. What else do we need? Nothing kind of sort of too much um all right fish 
Let's go ahead and sell those right away to Bruno. Ooh, yeah, I got quite a bit. It's not the best, but, you know, it brings us in money. Damon asked me if I would ever date. Ha! Date who? My Helena was the only one for me. Yeah, that's kind of sad. Kai! Have I told you about the time I nearly sliced my foot off in the water? Oh, I pulled into a barrel and my board whacked me upside the head. Dude. Next thing you know, my foot's caught on coral and I'm fighting to come up for air. Dude, you, you don't have nothing to sell? What the hey? The first snow of the season always feels like a miracle, even when I know you're the one who turned the season. Cameron? Even though Parker still comes by the center from time to time, I can tell he's being distant. Maybe I deserve it. Even though I, I didn't mean to cause any harm. Bull! Yes, you did! I just can't wait to visit my brother and baby Malcolm. I might have missed out on some prime bun-in-the-oven jokes, but I'm more than ready to make up for it with cute baked good nicknames. Look at my little cupcake. Aren't you just softer than room temperature butter? That's the only one of his, you know, puns, jokes, whatever, that I don't get. Everything else I get, but that one just sounds kind of stupid to me. Tara, I had a dream. It was about Violet's mom. She was all glowy and weird looking. Uh oh, it's uh, probably nothing. But that's like the fourth time I had that dream. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, is Emmy showing signs of witchiness? Juliet and Sophia have been fighting over Juliet's curfew lately. I get Sophia's point. There's definitely weird stuff going on around here at night. But she's gonna push Juliet away if she doesn't loosen the leash a little. I speak from experience here. But, but, but there's nothing going on, Kim. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I'll be like the, no. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, let's see what news we can tell grandma. What's a good flower? We have to bring this winter to an end, but I... I'm not sure we're strong enough. We could really use your wand, Grandma. Yeah. I mean, we could really... Hey, Natalia, what's going on? Messenger Cameron mentioned that he's running low on candles. He says he writes better sermons by candlelight. Okay. Um, you know, you don't have to look at the woods. Nothing going on in there. Nope. Nope. Not at all. Ooh, no. <laughs> Get off the tree. I wanted the mushroom.
Now we've got the ingredients. Uh, we could turn the season tonight. But I really want to get back into the gloaming, into that one section, because it's gonna oh, it's gonna take at least three or four wands. I've always wondered why Amira's allergy meds work so much better than the over-the-counter stuff. So many things make a lot more sense now. Okay. Are you gonna tell me the same thing? Mind that. Yep. I don't want to hear it. Sorry. I'm trying to convince Violet to help me out with some cocktails. Her potions are always flawless. Um. <sighs> Shoot. I don't know. Should we? Should we? Should we? Should we? Hi, Priestess. I've always wanted to know. Does it help when spells rhyme? For some, it does. It helps to think of creating incantations like writing poetry or composing music. You build on different aspects as you conjure. Sometimes that can be as simple as a rhyme to help you remember. Okay. I've got that, the spirit flame. Oh, well, that's right. We can't turn the season anyway. Spirit flame isn't done. All right, so let's go back into the second... Hard. Oh, good. There are lots more stuff here. Yay! Ow. Go away. Over the bridge. Let go. Wool Spain. We need those. We could probably use them for Wesley. Are there? Yes. I can get little fishies. Um, you know what? No. Give me a worm. Come here. Bite the hook. Bite the hook. Thank you. Oh, got one. Come here. Come here, fishy. Come here. Hi, Lori. Oh, man. Oh, I don't want to let go of the fish. Oh, yes. quick. Is that a bottle? With a Nacho. recipe inside. Okay. But I want that fish back. I want that fish back. Poop. Anyway. So the big cool down has kind of started by me. Um, hang on. I was out earlier, did a little grocery shopping, and on the way home, it was starting to uh, just kind of sprinkle light mist, whatever, nothing really bad. All right. I mean, it was still kind of annoying. Ooh, excuse me. All right, I'm gonna show you. What did we hit? Oh, I can't tell. I think we hit um, mid. Mid-60s, 
maybe close to 70. I'm not sure. I mean, it was, it, it was warm and kind of humid before the big cool down. Now, grant you, okay, this is not a cool down. It's actually coming. But I don't know if you'll be able to see it. All right, hold on. I got to try to... No, dang it. Hold on. There. I hit something on my phone. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you serious? It's 39 there now. You didn't get above 60. Holy crap. Um, I mean, that right now is on, is on our, our weather app. But let me. All right, according to, go away, the channel I mostly watch, um, over there by the station, they're saying they have 60. So, okay. Although that could be down by the airport too. I don't remember. But yeah. We're I mean the the picture I I showed you in Twitter. I think they had updated that. No, they didn't. Cuz it was the same thing I saw this morning. Um, yeah, Sunday, rain with possible snow chance, and then on Tuesday on Halloween, possibly snow. It's like, no, it's too early. It is too early. <gasps> Next Tuesday, it's about, shot. No, 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 no. No, Laurie, no. <laughs> oh my God, girl. Hell no. A low of 17? What the hell? It is too early. It is too early for this. I can see that weather coming say, you know, like December, like early December or maybe even mid-December, that's actually, no, that's like January weather. Fuck. Fuck. Anyway, um, you'll notice you have a little diamond next to your name. After last night, after after we all said good night and whatever, girl, I couldn't sleep anyway. But, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> um. I made you a VIP, yeah, and a VIP also means that, say that you saw something really cute and you wanted to share it in, in the chat, you can. You can post a link. That's what the VIP means. Um, I got a few other people that I want to I want to make VIPs but definitely 
I mean, why wouldn't I make you, you know? Woohoo! I feel special now! <laughs> well, well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're only allowed a certain number, you know? But, yes, you, you were at the top of that list. Um... I made Nessie one, and I made uh, Sunstar one. Because it's like, hello, we're all sim buddies, you know. So we, we can all trash talk, you know, um, EA and everything else. Um, <laughs> we can all trash talk our games and how they're not working and um <laughs> yes but yes um i made you guys vips um i do want to do as i said i do want to do um a couple more people um so that yeah they can if they want to share something they can you know so, yep, I gave you your little diamond. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's see. Uh, we can't turn the seasons yet. I'm getting, I don't want to say near, near the end of the main story, but we are getting there. Um, I'm trying to remember from my first gameplay between now and the actual end of the main storyline, how far there is to go. So yeah, I remember just a few years back, I was hopping between three to four streams simultaneously every night, girl, you know? I was the same. I mean, I kinda am still now, you know? Um, in the morning, now, when I used to stream, I usually kind of sort of started. Ooh, let me get her home. Okay. Um, I usually started, say, 9 or 10 in the morning and everybody else that I knew was also on at the same time. And it's like, oh crap, how are we all supposed to get together and you know, it hit me. <laughs> yeah. Well, in fact, when I, when I went on, you know, a little over an hour and a half ago, I, was sitting, still sitting, I should say, <laughs> in a friend's stream. I had him tapped up. I, I was still sitting in there. It's like, you know, I, I'm not going to blurt out, I'm, I'm going to go stream by, you know. No, that's rude. You don't do that. So I, I stayed lurking. I didn't even lurk in his channel. I was just being really super quiet, you know. And I came over here, started doing my thing, you know, and uh, it's like, okay. And then I happened to look over and it's like, wait, he moved on. Okay, no biggie. No biggie at all. So, uh, it's cool, you know. I will lurk in so many streams, although I do talk in everybody's stream. <laughs> But yeah, I will have got at least three tabs up. And I'm bouncing back and forth and I'm trying to remember conversations and it's like, wait a minute, no, I'm in the wrong stream. Flip, okay, go over there, yeah. Well, geez, how many times we were sitting in, in Manda's stream and oh, yes, it's ready. Cool. Um. <sighs> what a long day. <sighs> how many times we were in Manda's stream 
and somebody else that I knew was on at the same time. I had to have both tabs open. You know, grant you, we mostly talked in Manda's stream, but yeah. It's a Sunday. Nobody is open per se. Okay, how many do I got for you? 17. Yeah, I can go down by Marty and go get some more feed. Parker's not open, so I can't um, you know, give him the money or anything to work on my barn. All right. <sighs> now, <come> oh, <gasps> I'm all out of magic. Girl, do I have any magic down here? Please tell me I got magic. Good. Ooh. It's only halfway, but... Ooh, well, <laughs> crap. Oh well. We'll have to, um, well, when, when we go down by the, uh, by the circle, we'll have to replenish our magic. So our magic is all set. Yeah. Nope, don't go by the big rock yet. Okay, I want that. I want that. Come on. Ooh, yes. Wow. I need to make money so that I can... Uh, ooh, I got... Ooh, Persian love cake. Ooh, that looks good. All right, so all that is now open. We... Depending on how much wood we'll need and stones and whatever... We'll give all, well, not all of it, but I mean, we'll give what we can to Parker, have him fix up our barn. Then we'll get a cow. And then we'll get another cow. Hello, Twister reference. <laughs> cow. Another cow. Alright, where is my cat? Oh, there you are. Look at that face. It is such a Aww. cute face. Such a cute little baby. Hey. We can take our time today because we don't really, outside of going down to the Coven Circle, we ain't got nothing to do today. And I'm not, oh, I think I see, oh, 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 yes. All right, I'll take that. Oh, yes. I am I could eat some Really? Wow. Okay. Um Well, that didn't fill you up. Ooh, 
Yes. All right. A, a thick vegetable curry traditionally served with soft bread rolls. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. That gave you energy. Money. All right. Alright, nothing. Alright, I don't. Wait. Is that a big fish or a little fish? Oh, kind of big fish. Okay. Worm. <gasps> Recipe. Okay, sorry, fish. Oh, no, go away. Go away, little fish. Go away. Come on, fall. Recipe. Oh, wow. Yes. Please be the one I want. Is that a bottle? Ah! Look, a recipe inside. A poke bowl? Mmm. Eh. Okay. Oop. Wait. Okay. Got you. Ooh. A little stone. Good. Ooh, I missed you. All right. Frigging people. I swear, I want to put a sign up, you know, by the door on each side saying, stop effing slamming the door. I know I can't, but I want to. <laughs> Because I am sick and tired of having my walls, you know, vibrate because people are stupid and can't close a dang door the proper way. Oh, Tiger's playing Stardew right now. It just popped up in my Steam. She must either be uh, recording or doing something. Fairhaven's changed so much, but the important parts haven't. Okay, what are the important parts, Bruno? You didn't elaborate. I used to have neighbors like that, too. I called them the door slammers. <laughs> yep, and that would be the nice name. You know? I used to look forward to skiing season, but the only kind of skiing you can do here is cross country, which is not the kind I like. You know, Marty, shut up. Damon! Kai's always trying to convince me to join him out on the waves. I enjoy the craft, but it's not really my thing. Okay, so I gotta catch you up from where we kind of sort of left off last night. Mr. Marty thinks he's a rancher and all that, is not. His dad is like some real estate mogul or, you know, something. And, you know, from how you have to kind of like read into the storylines and whatever, Marty came over here to Fairhaven. Ooh, Belch, sorry. To basically look at all the properties. He was sending people notes and letters and whatnot saying, hey, you know, I'm gonna buy up your property, yada, yada, yada. With all the witch trials that have been going on, this last one, Marty was outed by the mayor. <laughs> mayor South turned around, oh, you came here and you were just going to do this. And, and, you know, the whole town is in, in, you know, City Hall and they're all like, what? Yep. So, yep. Yeah. Marty's really a no good guy. Nope, not at all. 
Not at all. Oh, yes, I have another pearl. Thank you. Oh, wait. Kai, 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 Kai. Come back here. My mom asked if I was eating. I told her that as long as Sophia's around, I am. Yes, I recall that happening. Okay, so I don't remember if we did see that last night or was right after I had ended, but yeah. It was like the first time I, I played through that and I, it, it was like, whoa, Marty, you know? Well, let's see, Bruno's on his way walking, so we can go ahead and fly. All right, we have got all the ingredients. I just want to talk to I've always Francis. wondered why Amira's allergy meds work so much better than the over-the-counter stuff. So many things make a lot more sense now. All right. I got a letter from an institute focused on herb lore. They want to recruit me. I love potions, but I'm not sure if that's the right move for me. I can't believe magic schools are actually a thing. Girl, they've been around for ages. They're also crazy expensive, so it's like, probably not a real option. Sounds like everything in our lives. Your grandmother never approved of the masks outside of rituals. She wasn't really the shrinking violet type. And I suspect you're not either, are you? No. All right, let me replenish my magic. What do I got? All right, we'll go with three forget-me-nots. And we'll take six pine cones. Okay. Oh, belch. Magic is replenished. <sighs> Here we go. Are you ready to turn the seasons? Yes. It's time to melt this winter into spring. I wholeheartedly agree. We do need one more ingredient. What? I'll bring it tomorrow night and we'll conduct the ritual then. Why Once it's spring and the fairy is running again, maybe our lives will go back to normal. Why didn't you tell me this last night? Man. Ah. I gotta waste one more day waiting. We're pile of crap. Yeah, no, thank you. Man, I should have just crafted a incantation so that Tara can go into her kitty and run around and grab all the crickets and a lot of fish and yeah. We'll poop. Fine. No, 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 not that tree. Thank you. <laughs> Crap. No, no, get off the tree. Thank you. Oh, crap. No, not the tree. Thank you. 
I could. Really? Well, all I wanted you to do is pick it up. Okay. Ooh, well, let's see. Thomas! You know what I like in winter? A good jigsaw puzzle. That sounds pretty lonely, Thomas. Nah, I'm perfectly nice company for myself. <laughs> I don't know, are we? <laughs> I mean, sometimes. <laughs> Am I ready for bed? <sighs> All right. <sighs> Which means I can't turn into a cat just yet. Because we gotta waste this whole dang day. We'll Ooh. find her, Sophia, Ooh. I promise. <gasps> hey, is everything okay? <laughs> Juliet's missing. We had a fight about her curfew last night. And when I called her to breakfast, she wasn't in her room and the window was open. <sighs> I don't know if she snuck out this morning or sometime in the middle of the night. This is my fault. I shouldn't have been so hard on her. Okay, where have you looked? I went to Kim's shop first. I thought she may have gone there. We've checked the school and all over town square, but no sign of her yet. She can't have gone far. We should split up. Sophia, search the beach and ask Thomas to help. Kim, you could check the mountain pass and ask Giba if she's seen her. I'll check the forest. Whoever finds her first should bring her back to Sophia's cafe, and we can meet there. Okay. Thanks, Tara. It's good to have a plan. I can't help find my daughter if I'm hysterical. We better get going. See you both soon. <sighs> oh, it's freezing out. I better use a scrying spell if I want to find her quickly. No, but it takes too long. No. Oh, my God. <sighs> Crap. Oh, good. I still have juice in there. Um, Juliet. I mean, I kind of sort of know. Oh, shoot. I want to fly. Are you all looking for Juliet, too? Sophia came by the shop on the way to Kim's Butcher, but I thought she would likely find her there. And someone's cast an enchantment at the circle, and it wasn't us. Could it possibly have been Juliet? Her father was in the coven, right? I don't even think she knows she's a witch. Tara thinks she's up there, so we gotta find out what's going on. Oh what my god. Earth? Who would have done this to her? She's just a kid! We must find a way to safely bring her down. If we blast the bubble with our wands, she could get hurt. There's a spell that should work, but we'll need to gather the items quickly. Novice, see if you can find them. Journeyman, Initiate, go find Sophia and Kim and tell them that we've located Juliet. On it. I got everything. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. We totally need to do a bring your familiar to coven night. Yeah, Amina's girl. Amina's told me so much about her red fox. I know, girl, go away. Here. I have the ingredients, High Priestess. 
Let us gather round her so that we can catch her should she fall too quickly. Dark enchantment I shall break, and Spellbound Child will soon awake. Where's Vanessa? Vanessa? Did she do this to you? She said... She knew my secret, and she would tell my mom if I didn't meet her by the old tree in the woods. But when I got there, she was wearing this weird robe and a mask. She said that you kept her away, but I would help her get in. You're Giacomo's daughter. Our glamour was a spell he wrote. She must have figured out that he was part of the coven. She made me put my hand on the gate, and suddenly this whole place just appeared. Like it had always been here. Uh, that's the last thing I remember. You're safe now, Juliet. We won't let anyone hurt you. This is just... a lot. <gasps> oh, Juliet! Mommy! <gasps> Are you okay? Uh, what did they do to you? Nothing. It wasn't their fault, Mom. There. Really? Is it Coven here? Wait a minute. I was blamed for something you all did? You're the malcontents. No, we're trying to help the town. Really? Mom, can we please just go home? I'll explain it all when we get there. Well, I'll try. Okay. Let's go, baby. <sighs> so now what? Now we have to find Vanessa before she gets herself into serious trouble. Uh-oh. Will this day never end? No! Hi, Wesley. Wait. Why are the four of you here together? Wesley has something he needs to tell you. The woman who bound Juliet. I recognized her. I met her several months ago. She came up to me in the woods and said she had a werewolf suppression potion. One that actually worked. But in exchange, she, the Vanessa, I suppose we now know, wanted updates on the Coven's activities. Oh, and he took it! He took the stinking deal! She reminded me of a figure from stories I heard as a child. A very powerful figure. And so I didn't want to say no. I thought you were our friend. I can't believe you do this. I never wanted to be a werewolf, Terra. What she promised was a return to the life I used to live. High Priestess. When I first arrived in Ravenwood Hollow, this kind of criminal would have been sentenced to death at the Coven's hands. Perry, no! It is your decision, not ours. What will you do with him? Kill him? Right now? Certainly not. While I'm furious with you, Wesley, we don't have time for vengeance. I am grateful. We need to know where Vanessa went when she was here, boy. What does your sniffer tell you? I think it's obvious she went this way. And then she went through here. Thank you. I should have known it would be the third pillar. She's no fool. She sealed it shut. Then we need to unseal it. I think I can make that happen. And why should they trust you? Because I'm the one who supplied her parchment. Over time, I got a sense of the techniques she uses. Here, Terra. You have the skills to fix this. Consider these supplies. The beginning of my atonement. All you need now is a sunflower. I believe you can grow them in your greenhouse. No, I already Go got ahead, Terra. The rest of us will stay here in case Vanessa comes back. And we'll be returning to Ravenwood Hollow. We've been away for too long. Come along, Wesley. You've done enough damage to the coven already. Damn! Really, I'm sorry. We'll talk about it later. Ooh! It's like, shit. You just gotta put on a fake beard and talk to yourself. Totally entertaining. <laughs> right? <laughs> Girl. <laughs> yes, I did see that picture. Oh my god, that was cute! That was really cute! Alright, where is...
is the thingy I need? I no, get up here. So what am I looking at? All right, I need that. This incantation will melt even the toughest ice. Yes, yes, yes. All right. That was a shocking turn of events. Oh, I know, right? It's like, whoa, what the hell? <laughs> Uh, flower, flower, flower. All right, so, t shoot, I gotta wait till tonight. Damn it. <laughs> I want to get <laughs> It's not that I don't want to hurry the, you know, storyline along, but it's like, come on. You know, I got everything we need. Let's just move it along. <laughs> wow. The woods look so beautiful in the snow. That they do. Winter brings beauty. And the dark. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't go by that tree. I don't know what I'd do if Amira left. Seems like every other thing in me breaks down as soon as she sends me home. Although that sounds like us, you know. The older we get, the more things break. <laughs> and the more you just kind of let go, yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> Come here, fishy. Big fish. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Gotcha. Catfish. You know. Because they don't have dog fishes, they have catfishes, and they all go meow meow. Crap. Okay. Um, Parker, you're gonna tell me what I need. Barn. Oh, crap. I need freaking 60 of those. Okay. Never mind. I'll be back. Oop. How many do I... Oh, I've got enough. Okay. I think. Oh, crap. you got to be kidding me. All right, that gives me 35. I'm going to have to run down into mines. Son of a bitch. I guess I won't get my barn yet. 
shoot. Oh good, I see dirt piles. Nothing there, nothing there. Still trying to get that one dang recipe. But the more I fish, it's not coming up. And I'm digging every little dirt pile I see, but I'm not getting it. Meh. Ugh, crap. <sighs> I mean, come on, I thank you for the money, but... Alright, what do I see? Little fish? Is there a big fish over here? Ooh, big fish! Come here, big fish. Or recipe. Come on. Nope, let go, little fish. Go away, little fish. Got one. All right. <sighs> Crap. Well, since we basically had to wait till today, I just wasted that day. <laughs> Sometimes I try to work up the courage to ask Damon how he can be here at the circle and also at the bar at the same time. I'm sure there's some magical explanation, but it makes my brain hurt just thinking about it. <laughs> makes my brain hurt just everything. No, 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 no. No, no. No! Damn it! Ah. Uh. Oh my god, what the hell? The first seer's advice may seem unclear, but if you really listen, everything he says makes sense in the end. Now, can we talk to you or not? Oh, we must have already. Okay, fine. All right, let's replenish the magic again. Oh, magic is already. All right, never mind. Now, can we do it tonight? It's done. It's done. The incantation is done. Go on then. Read it. Oh, we can't do this it. This icy charm I shall undo and thaw the stones to let us through. Perfect. Thank you, novice. Now we can proceed. Novice, herbalist, you'll come with me. <laughs> yes. Let's go. The rest of you stay behind in case Vanessa comes back this way. Oh, we'll be ready. I hope this works. Ooh. Look for Vanessa past the third glooming pillar. Yes. <gasps> Apple pie. Yes. Yes. We Watch need down this way. Lena. We, we passed it before, but the force field seems too strong to break on our own. The three of us together should be able to do it. Let's do it now. Whoa. <laughs> no wonder you're the high priestess. Right? That's like, damn! Pilot, look. 
I just saw a dark wraith, the most powerful one I've ever seen in the gloaming. I can't let it escape into Fairhaven. Gloria, what are you doing in this part of the gloaming all alone? Who's that? It sounded like... Dad? Marcus, I have to cast a glamour over the heart of the Wellspring to protect Violet. Gloria, come back with me right now. I can't. You don't... Marcus, look out! It's right behind you! Dad! Let go of them! I've got you! Now I bind you, Wraith! No man shall you scathe! Mom! Are you two okay? Dad didn't just suddenly lose his memory. He was attacked by a wraith. Your mom tried to fight it off. She didn't just leave me. She was trying to save Marcus. We've got to keep it together, Violet. Vanessa is still in here somewhere. Juliet could be in grave danger. Oh man, it took all my magic. What the hell? <gasps> Vanessa, stop! I've been forced to siphon paltry bits of magic from the wellspring for too long. Now I finally found its heart. You're the one who's been causing the imbalance. That's why the wraiths broke free. I had really hoped that the trials would have snared one of you, but the wrong people kept getting accused. Well, it was a useful distraction at least. Vanessa, that's not the heart of the Wellspring. It's something else. You're lying, Lena. Just like your father. He said I could never be part of the coven. Fine. Now I'll be more powerful than any of you. to prevent me from escaping the gloaming. Now I am bonded with this dark sorceress. So long as this coven stands, you'll never reach the heart of the gloaming, Wraith. As you wish. I know how to destroy you once and for all. And I won't even have to do it myself. Is she... No, she's alive, but she's under a powerful enchantment. Stay and help Violet, Terra. You may be able to wake her with a strong enough potion. Myself and the rest of the coven have to go find Vanessa before she wreaks havoc in the town. Violet, I'll be back with the potion as soon as I can. Hurry. Hey, but let me look around because I don't know what I need. Oh, okay. So, whoa. Nothing there, nothing there. All right, fine. I wish I could fly out. It would be so much faster. Francis! Where is everyone? Vanessa came through the portal, but the binding spell Amira tried didn't work. That's because it's a strong dark wraith bonded with a powerful witch. The incantation we used on civilians probably won't cut it. Great! Lena and the others followed her into town, and they told me to keep watch. I could use your help. We found Gloria, but I, I need a potion to revive her. I'm going to get most of the ingredients through the other portals in the gloaming, but I need some pearl dust. Can you get that for me? Right away. You really found Gloria? This day just keeps getting crazier. This island was a popular port for pirates and smugglers back in the day. I bet there's at least one sunken ship under those waves just full of golden gems. Yeah, I wish. And I don't have any more eh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. 
I don't even know if I can make this. Oh, wait, no, it would be here. Nope, it would be here. <gasps> yes. Wait a second. So it takes nearly eight hours? Son of a bitch. All right. If I got that, I got that. Please. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Um... Got no magic, but that worked. Oh shoot, please tell me. No 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 no. We're gonna have to wait until tomorrow. Okay, so, oops, my magic is restored. I can't fly. Because I used all that up. Eh, wrong, wrong button. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta go back. I gotta go back in the gloaming. Eh, <laughs> Still hasn't moved, but I think she's breathing. Here. Nothing's happening. Maybe she just was in here too long. I'm sorry I didn't find you sooner, Mom. Don't give up yet. We've already done everything we could do. <coughs> Mom? <gasps> it worked! Mommy, Violet, but... It, it can't be. You're, you're so grown. How long have I been in here? Four years. Oh, baby. And Bastian? He's doing okay. I've been taking care of him. Oh, my poor babies. I'm so sorry. I couldn't let the Wraith travel deeper into the gloaming. Marcus, myself, and Giacomo had already banished it from the island once, but it returned more determined than ever to reach the heart of the Wellspring. And now it has Vanessa. What? Oh, Mom. This is my friend Tara. She's Hazel's granddaughter. Also, it turns out Vanessa was a witch this whole time. The Wraith is bonded to a witch? This is dire. I should go help the others. Go on ahead of us. I need to help my mom out of here. Ooh, three max restore. Ooh, hell yeah. Alright, we are getting, I think, near the end of the main storyline. <gasps> Ooh! Come on, Francis, let's go. I can't fly, I gotta run. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god. Did you notice it's like... It's like cloudy and gloomy and whatever and like what the hell? All right, what the hell? Where are you? Ooh, everyone's here. Okay. Yeah, everyone's running away like shit. <laughs> Be gone, you, you demon. How dare you take the shape of my wife? This is your wife, you idiot. Ha -ha! You have to calm yourself, Vanessa. Your malcontent energy is too strong. She's not a malcontent, my dude. She's a witch. Tara, you got here just in time. Natalia, Angus, Parker, you were right. There are witches in town. You just kept accusing the wrong people. I knew it. I knew something weird was happening. <laughs> the person you should put on trial for being a witch is right there. Lena, the head of the coven. That doesn't make any sense. You're also a witch. Wraith, let Vanessa go. She doesn't want me to let her go. She's finally achieved her goal. Power over a coven that refused to let her in. And just because she wasn't from an established bloodline of witches. I don't know how much longer we can keep this up, Lena. <laughs> you don't need to. The coven will submit to me as the new high priestess. You have until sundown. What? Bitch, what I don't do? think so. <laughs> To cast out a genie that powerful, we need more time. Ah, now there's an idea. In this place, I will pause time. The moment that I speak my rhyme. <gasps> That's a dirty trick. But the incantation will wear off eventually. Shelby, the spell only affects this part of Fairhaven, right? If I go get supplies for my farm, time will start moving for me. How am I supposed to make the banishment incantation? You can use the desk in my store. Would that help? I'll run to the bar for supplies. The non-alcoholic kind. Promise. Wesley gave me the parchment, but I still need fennel seed powder and a few of Vanessa's personal items. Amira may have some fennel seed powder in her clinic. And as for the personal items, why don't you try talking to the people Vanessa knows best? In the meantime, we'll keep an eye on Wraithy McRae face. Come speak to me when you're ready. Wraithy <laughs> McRae face? <laughs> How is she floating like that? Invisible wires? Oh, sorry, you were asking me something. Items belonging to Vanessa? No, I'm afraid not. If I have she has lots of oh, pens crap. and scissors on her desk at school. I guess those belong to her. Sorry, I pushed the button too fast. Anything of Mrs. Soft stuff? She's my teacher. That'd be weird. She has plenty of my stuff, though. That she con confisc oh taken. She keeps it all on her desk. You should check there. <sighs> Oops. Wrong way. My wife is a witch. I yeah. know, buddy. It's a lot to take in. My wife is a witch. Okay, and I can see you're still processing. But I need your help. Do you have anything on you that's important to Vanessa? Uh, I can take this ring off now. Have that. I guess this means she doesn't need me anymore. I'm sure she still cares for you, Otto. But she never told me that she was a witch. A witch! Okay, so personal item of Vanessa's. All right, we got that.
that. We just need, we need to get into the school, I think. Anything of Vanessa's? I made her a beautiful oak dining table, but that's inside the mayor's mansion. Besides, I want to stay out of this. I'm still thinking everything over. Yeah, whatever, okay? Lena said that witches aren't the same as malcontents. I'm trying to believe her. By the way, she said you might need some paper. I'm not sure whether that will help right now, but here, have a few blank pages from the Book of the Mind. Oh, wow, that's very generous of you. Vanessa never comes to my forge, so nope, nothing of hers here. Wait, before you go, Vanessa's possessed by a wraith, right? Is it possible that happened to me, too? Yep. Yeah, I think that, uh, it's definitely possible. Oh, I gotta sit down and think about that. Violet, where's your mom? I got her out of the gloaming, and she told me to run ahead and help. I really hated to leave her back there, but... Whoa, this is definitely an all-hands-on-deck kind of moment. Do you have anything of Vanessa's I can use for the incantation? Just a bill for floral arrangements that she hasn't paid yet? Ooh, wow. See, when Sophia first screamed about Vanessa being a witch, I thought she was, like, saying a different word, you know? Because <laughs> we've all thought that. <laughs> but nah, she's a witch, and so are you. That's rad. Oh, yeah, and uh, I don't have any of Vanessa's stuff. I've, like, decentralized possessions in my life. Definitely no room for anyone else's. Oh, well, thanks for the vote of confidence anyway. Now I know why no one's ever put a resort on Fairhaven before. Witches! Uh, by the way, someone mentioned you need an egg. Seems like a weird thing to need right now, but hey, I'm just some guy from the city, not a witch. I was just some girl from the city until I became a witch. Trust me, it's not too late. Uh, I'm fine staying normal. Uh, no offense. So... There have always been witches here? That's what I learned when I joined the coven. My grandma had a cousin who was a healer. She used to take trips to Fairhaven and come back with strange plants and herbs, but they weren't from the part of Fairhaven I can see, were they? No, they weren't. Right. Well, I don't have anything of Vanessa's, but I bet you knew that. Well, yeah, but I still have to ask everybody. Have you got anything of Vanessa's for me to read? Yes, this is a ring Vanessa gave Otto. Well then. Ah. You've been trying to get into the stone circle for a long, long time, haven't you? Years and years longer and we realized there's a man approaching you in the woods. He looks like he is. Otto, but this is the first time seeing him, isn't it? And you slip him the ring as soon as you figure out what kind of person he is. You start courting him, but he doesn't know. He doesn't know you were the masked figure in the woods. Why was she leading a double life this whole time? Because what she wanted and what Otto wanted were the same. Power in Fairhaven. Whoa. Wiley. Vanessa doesn't have the far sight, but stars above. She plans like she does. Well done, novice. This ring holds many echoes of Vanessa. All right. Anybody else? Where is? Oh, wait a minute. There is someone I'm missing. Sebastian. Hello? Little dude, where are you? Ooh, Juliet too. Uh, you want what? Sorry, I'm having a hard time thinking straight. It's been kind of the weirdest day of my life. Uh, did you say you need some paper? Uh, here. That's how your mom became such a good cook. She was a witch. Nah, Sophia. She's just naturally talented like you. 
sorry to interrupt, but do either of you have something that belonged to Vanessa? No. We weren't close. And now, we never will be. That piece of... It's okay, Sophia. Juliet is safe. I don't have any leads either. Good luck, though. All right, Sebastian, where are you? I wish I had some of Vanessa's stuff. That woman has good taste in jumpsuits. But no. Sorry, Tara. Hi, Bruno. Well, brine me and stick me in a barrel. I knew she was strange, but a witch? Are you talking about me or Vanessa? Vanessa, of course. You're Hazel's granddaughter, so... Ah, oh, jeez, Hazel was a witch, too. Wasn't she? <laughs> yep. yep. Well, she and you have never been anything but sweet to me. I heard you might need some squid. Is it for a spell? Yes, it is. Huh. Maybe there's a new market that Bruno's bait and tackle can serve. Ooh, yeah, there we go. All right. Little dude, where are you? Little dude. Oh, man. Sebastian, where are you? I need you, buddy. Oh, and I can't run home. Oh, crap. Crap. I can't go in the forest. I better not stray too far. The High Priestess says I should be able to get everything I need in town. Yeah, but I'm missing one person. And I'll bet you he's the key. Holy crap. All right, hold on, let's go in the cemetery. Nope. Oh, this will be a good story to tell Grandma. Grandma, guess what? Vanessa! Ah, <laughs> uh, that's right. You still need fennel seed powder. Here. I knew there was a good reason to keep a stash in the clinic. You never know when you'll have to perform an emergency banishment procedure. Very true. Now, can you tell me where I can find Sebastian? Aha, there you are. Huh? You want something of Vanessa's? Have you checked the school? I mean, everything on the teacher's desk belongs to her. How am I supposed to get in? I guess it's locked. Not a problem. Take this. Wait, how did you get this? Juliet and I wanted to see the solutions for a math test, so when Vanessa dropped her spare key... Yeah. Wow, okay. Just don't tell Violet, please. Ooh, the little thief. But he provided what I need. Woohoo! Ooh, excellent. Yes, yes, and yes. These don't look like her usual style. Shelby will know if they're important to her. <gasps> yes? Woohoo! these gloves. I got the sense that they're important to her. We'll find out. Hmm. You didn't start out as gloves, did you? You were a sweater. A sweater for a much littler Vanessa. Wow. I didn't think Vanessa was sentimental like that. You put on the sweater because it was cold and you wanted to go back to the place you found while out adventuring. <sighs> the Stone Circle. Barcier, what happened? When she was a girl, she came to Fairhaven one summer. She went out exploring, 
and found the stone circle, but she couldn't get in because she met someone protecting it. Marcus drove her off. She never forgot. She's been trying to break in since she was a kid? Holy... And when she outgrew the sweater she was wearing that day, she unpicked the yarn, had it made into gloves. The gloves sound perfect for the incantation, then. You couldn't have found better. If you've got all the supplies, Best get to making that incantation. I won't waste any time. You can't waste time when it's frozen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. Shelby. Alright, so. We have to go, uh, Francis said we can use his. His shop or something, so, okay. Um, all right, where am I going? What else do I need? <gasps> How am I supposed to frig? I don't have any ink! <laughs> Crap. Okay, hold on. Okay, good. I can do it that way. Wow, that's gonna take all my magic. I suppose. But there's got to be something else. What am I looking at? All right, who am I giving it to? Oh, giving it to Lena. All right. There's one more part to all of this, Tara. Something I didn't want to mention in front of the others because, well, I don't know if I believe this myself. You're making me nervous. To contain Vanessa's wraith, we need something particularly powerful. Do you know the story about the base of the Molly and Peggy doll statue? There's supposedly something hidden in there, right? Yes, a locket. But you're not sure if it's true? There are plenty of legends about Molly and Peggy. Most of them aren't true. But we need all the help we can get, so I figure before you make the banishment incantation, can you check the statue? Now sure. you tell me. Will I need anything special? A lockpick incantation wouldn't be a bad idea. And if you don't have the ingredients for one, ask around. Now you tell me I already made the incantation. Damn it! Ah, uh, son of a bitch. Still don't think Sebastian's gonna have anything else. Nope. Crap, what the hell? Oh, come on. How am I supposed to get in there? Frig. Time to see if this legend is the real deal. 
there was a secret. Two could keep it. But now I cast this charm to seek it. Okay, never mind. Oh, Cheddar Biscuits. There is something in here. I was only doing this to put Lena's mind at ease. I didn't think the locket was real. Okay. I've got the incantation. I got the locket now. Please tell me I don't need anything else. It's real. Oh my. I didn't think I'd really be able to lay eyes on this. Our chances of beating that wraith seem pretty good, Lena. I'd like to think so, but remember, it kept Gloria stuck in the gloaming for years. Do you have everything we need for the banishment? Yeah, it's already done. Yes, let's try this. Ready? <laughs> you see? You never had the power to defeat me, and now you have no power at all. The wellspring is mine. Submit. No! Get away from my house! And I'm replacing all the flowers you ripped out, you hear me? Wait. It's acting like... A, a mood ring. No, like the Coven Cauldron. Lena, was this fountain possibly built on top of... A font to the wellspring, of course. And Vanessa must have figured it out. And that's why she manipulated Otto into running for mayor. <laughs> he was a useful fool. But we don't need him anymore. Oh, uh, well that's just mean. We <laughs> need more offerings. Okay, fine. Give me all you got. Thomas, do you have anything I can offer the Wellspring? I wish I could help you, but what you've got in those woods aren't my gods. Hmm. Here, but only because we're friends, Tara. Marty, do you have something I can offer the Wellspring? Sure, why not? First witch trials, now throwing random things into a fountain. Just be real with me. Is this all some elaborate prank? Am I on a reality show right now? Yeah, it's called You're Stupid. Kai, do you have an offering we can throw into the fountain? You're very free with your gifts, but you should be careful what you offer the spirit of an island. Sometimes back home, we would offer this to Pele. Hey, Natalia. We're friends, Tara, so I won't sugarcoat it. What Vanessa has inside her is overwhelming. I felt it. We have to free her, whatever it takes. Cameron, I know you'll think it's just superstition, but we need offerings for the Wellspring. You've always been so giving to me and the League. Take this. It's my medal for reaching summit level on the Mountain of Consciousness. Parker, I hope you know that I'm still your friend, even if I'm a witch. Tara, I'm still working through the fact that I falsely accused Giver while under some dark influence I don't understand. And now it's got Vanessa. Take this. Okay, two more. Now, let's see if... Ooh, Otto might. Okay. Otto, we still need help getting your wife down. We need to make offerings to the Wellspring. Whatever it takes. Here. She gave this to me on our first anniversary. When she was my real Vanessa. Not that raven in the cloak and mask. She's still in there somewhere, right? Ooh, gold cufflinks. All right, seven. We need one more. Sophia, I... You've always been a good friend to me, Tara. But Vanessa wasn't possessed when she took my daughter. And we'll still need to deal with her later. In the meantime, here. All right, is that going to be enough? Yes. 
Place the offerings in the fountain. Read the incantation. Flames! Too long in this place, you have been a bane. Now in this locket, be forever chained! That's all you've got? It's still not enough! Don't give up! Um, who are those people? Tara, get the locket, now! Capture it, Tara! That thing took my mom from me! We can't let it hurt anyone else! You should do it, Violet. Take it! Vanessa, darling, are you all right? Are you there? Schnooker, you were really a witch this whole time? You've been lying to me? Welcome to the club. Messenger Cameron, what do we do? They're all malcontents. I, I have no idea. We can't banish all of them, can we? Just one. Once that fairy is fixed, Vanessa is never setting foot on this island ever again. I won't have her near my child or any of the island's other children. Agreed. Oh, Sophia, I'm so sorry. I was never going to hurt Juliet. I just needed to borrow her ability. I don't want to hear it. And it's her you need to apologize to. I'm sorry, Juliet. I betrayed your trust. But so did they. They've been lying to all of you for years just so they could hoard the power of the Wellspring for themselves. Liar! We've protected it, and protected the whole island, at a cost you don't understand! Really? Enlighten me. Gloria? It can't be. Mommy? Oh, Bastian! Who is she? And who's the... 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 Fairy and the guy with the backwards feet. None of this was in my farmer's manual. What on earth is going on? We've lived here longer than you, mortal. But now our task is done. You won't see us again. They just disappeared. Everyone saw that, right? Everyone just settled down. We're still the same people we've always been. Still your friends and neighbors. And right now, another storm's coming. But what do we do about you malcontents? I mean, witches. I don't know. Throw us a pizza party for, like, saving you? <laughs> we would never yes. have been in danger if you hadn't lied to us this whole time, Lena. Lena's no more dangerous today than she was yesterday. And Shelby is right. You best get home before it really starts to come down. Come along to Town Hall, Mr. and Mrs. Soft. You can't take me into custody! I'm the mayor! Not for long. We need to return to the wheel. This town can't make it through many more blizzards. <laughs> Pizza for everyone, yes! You have brought the incantation with you, yes? I have. What was the object you needed to bring? Um, Alina, this day has already taken a dark enough turn, don't you think? The blade symbolizes the fire of the reborn sun. Read the incantation, novice. We turn the circle together as one, and welcome the birth of the new spring sun. Farewell, embers of the waning year. Tonight, a new year dawns. Blessed be the light that unites us all. We say goodbye to the cold sun of winter. And welcome the warmth of spring. I am exhausted. 
I want to stay and celebrate, but I think I just want to go home and rest. You've certainly earned it. Do you think this will actually change anything? Now that the town knows our secret? I don't know. I hope so. Like storms that make the river sing, fill my magic from the spring. The only thing that could not get fixed was the little archway or gate. Should I go to bed? We change the season to spring, but I forget what comes the next day. Hiya, Tara. How you doing? Oh, you've had it real rough. <sighs> Yesterday, I wondered if it was possible to die from being too tired. Ah, well, I hate to ask this then, but eh, the fairy is finally out of the ice. If you bring me a ruby, I'll use astral spectroscopy to tune its vibrational frequencies. Uh, my brain can't handle those words right now. Oh, yep, sorry. Okay, it's, uh, it's like this. Embed my customized ruby in the fairy hall, and it'll send out tendrils of magic to repel the water. No human engineer needed. Nope. I'll work on it. Okay, Tuesday, but... Ah, oh, crap. Alright, so I think there's a few more things left to do before... The end of the main storyline, then. Wait a minute, Tuesday, I thought you were closed. Did you get that ruby? Will this one work? Oh, the structure's perfect. Give me a day to tune the frequencies. I'll bring it by tomorrow. Oh, I should have known that lady was up to no good. Anyone who spurns delicious sugary treats for no good reason is someone you gotta keep your eye on. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hello, hello, hello. Um, do I have... No, crap. Get up there. No. No. That. Fuck. Never mind. Oh, Chicky. Where are you? Oh, it's a nice day. Come out. So what all do I still have to do? I, besides that, got that, and we'll go through the mines and try to look for something like that. Okay. 
we should be some of these tasks outside of the one for Zephyr are yeah we can just take care of whenever all right what do I have that I can put in here now oh wait a minute hello flowers flowers go here Okay, spring. Okay. Cool. All right. Wheat, cauliflower, potatoes, and carrots. All right. Ooh, wow, three at once. That's good. Okay, so this will just be like a normal day on the farm. Ooh, green grass. Hell yeah. Alright, that looks good. Nah! No! Go away! We still have to go down in the mine, get the rest of the iron ore that we need. Parker will fix our barn. I don't have anything else otherwise. Oh, this is going to be hard. Oh, there we go. It was easier in the snow. I could see all the dirt piles. It's quite a sweet story. Yeah. <laughs> ah, get off the dang tree. So it was like, mm, kind of, sort of, the beginning of spring-ish when Tara first moved to Fairhaven and started to um, learn about taking care of the farm and you know, helping out her grandma. So it's technically ish been a year since Tara's been here. So, um, might there be a chance I could come take a look at this magic circle of yours? For science? I don't think that's really allowed. Sorry. Right, right. Well, I had to ask. It's okay. No problem. Oh. Let's go over here. See if there's any dirt over here. Highly doubt it. Oh, yay. Okay. I would have went right past it. Cool. Huh. 
All right, so the only thing, I mean, we could go to the circle tonight. I mean, is there really even, um, It's like, do we have to? Don't know, but yeah. No, 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 no. I did not say do that. Hello, duh. I that's the only part of this game I don't like. It you know, like grabs onto things. It's like let me control where I want to go, you know. Seventy-seven. I, what did I say? I've got like yeah, thirty-five. I need sixty. Uh, I can keep getting a few more. We're fine. <laughs> No, get off the rock. Mm. Ugh. It's like the the I'm all I could make. Yeah, I know you are. It's like the uh grid in The Sims 4, you know, how it just kind of grabs onto that and you're trying to go someplace else. All right, now, how many do I get? 84, that's good. All right. Okay, Wednesday, Natalia is open. We'll get the rest of the uh, iron bars that I need. We'll give them to Parker. Oh, shoot. I need. All right. Make that, make that. I'm sleepy. Duh. <sighs> um, like trying to free place curtains in the Sims. Exactly. Oh my God. It's like some of them that are three squares just you know, go in the middle. So what if it's three squares? Go directly in the middle, and then it'll be some over here, some over there, and it'll fit perfect. Durr! Hey, oh. Shelby. I think this is the first time I've seen you out my way. Well, thought you might be able to help me with something. Got this old pocket watch handed down from my pa. 
ticker stopped working, but you got a metal working table, don't you? I do, but wouldn't you rather give it to Francis? He's the jewelry expert. Nah, it's a simple job. Gears just need replating, and the missing stone needs to be reset. Well, here, take it. Wow, this does look really special. If you get round to fixing it, let me know. Oh, I think I remember this part. Yes, we do have a metal thingy. Okay. So what am I looking at? I need three gold bars. Figures. Ugh. Do I have enough gold? No, I don't. <laughs> Bitch. All right, come here, chicken. I gotta go into mine, so you gotta eat fast. We're going to need to go down. Let's go all the way down. <laughs> yes, gold. Yes. Ooh, yes. No, 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 stop. all this silver and hardly any gold all right what do I got seven six I just need three more yeah good enough
Okay, come on, Natalia. I'll be back to talk to you. I just need this. Three. Thank you. Okay. Oh. oh, hey, Shelby. I was just about to... <laughs> you already knew, didn't you? Yep. Well, here you go. You keep it. It's special, like I said. You know the time rewind spell I taught you? Well, it works like that. Only instead of just fixing a cake, you can rewind the whole room you're in. I put a charm on it, mind you. The people in the past won't be able to see you. And you won't be able to change what you see. Interfering in the past is too dangerous, even for the most skilled witch. So it's more like a visit to the past. That's right. It's an old heirloom, though. Probably only has one charge in it. Enough to get you there and back. Might be safest to try it in your house. I really hope this doesn't magic me in front of a dinosaur. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. Whoa. Where... When am I? Oh. <laughs> Uh, honeybee, you're here. Of course I am, Grandma. For a moment, I thought you were Robert coming to collect me. No, Grandma. Shelby gave me his enchanted watch. I, I felt a warm breeze. Yes, we turned the seasons. That's all. <laughs> still a skeptic, I see. But there is still so much you haven't seen. Still so much to learn. And do. We found Gloria in the gloaming, Grandma. We brought her home. Oh, I've done my best to take care of Violet since her mother disappeared. Don't worry. I promise I'll be here for her. I know you will, sweetheart. You're going to do great. I'm proud of you. I'm so glad you came back to see me. <sighs> me too. I just wish we had more time. We had <laughs> time enough. <laughs> You've learned how to run the farm. I'll take good care of it for you. And I know you can bring the community and the coven together. We're not quite there yet, but I, I think we will be. Promise me you'll remember everything I've taught you. I will, Grandma. I promise. You will be a marvelous witch. I can already see your powers blooming. It's time for me to rest. Take care, my beautiful little honeybee. I love you. I love you too, Grandma. Bye, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> And it gets me every time. <laughs> you too? <laughs> yep. Yep. All right, 
Now we have juice in our broom and we can fly again. Eh. Anyway, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so uh, Suffer fixed the machinery. She'll stop by the farm soon. <clears throat> oh, we bought... Oh, yes, we did. Good. Eh. Okay, yay! We'll have grapes in however many days that will take, I forget. <laughs> Alright, that's done. Oh, energy. Um, that's good enough. Okay. At least Kai lives on this island. I would have gone mad if he wasn't supplying me with tea. Well... I mean, I could give you tea, too. I'm so angry at Giacomo for never telling me he was a witch. I wish he were here so I could give him a piece of my mind. And then give him a kiss. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I understand that. So, I guess... This is awkward. It doesn't have to be. Oh, Tara, I'm so sorry. I've just had a bad time with witches. Like, really, really bad. Oh, jeez, this is all so much. My brain feels like an oven with too many trays inside. Okay. That kind of sounds like us. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gloria sitting out there. Okay, hi. Violet's told me that you've been a real friend to her since you've come to the island. Thank you for being there for her. You're welcome. Can I call you mom? I know cut flowers are great gifts, but <clears throat> leave enough for the bees, okay? Well, dang, girl. Can't I just give it to them? You know, people. I really want to fix that gate. It looks so bad. Okay, so some witches do turn out to be pretty bad. Someone once told me it's more about good or bad decisions. Well, she's clearly making some pretty bad ones. How is Angus ever going to accept me if people like Vanessa terrorize our town? I'm pretty sure he sees you for who you are. You're one of a kind, Francis. That's very true. Oh man, now what? Wow, there really are a lot of us now. And there will be more of us before we know it. Sebastian and Juliet will soon be of age to join us, if that's the path they choose. Mom, before you returned, all my brother could talk about was how he couldn't wait to leave the island as soon as he was old enough. And I can't imagine Juliet has a very positive impression of witches right now. Perhaps we could have a little celebration to welcome them and introduce them to the Circle as future members of the Coven. Hey, no one threw me a party when I joined the coven. <laughs> me either. 
Welcome parties are a thing here? We have much to celebrate, especially Gloria's return. Let's all work together to make it a special night. Tara, could you bake some cupcakes? Violet can be in charge of the flowers. And Damon, you can make the punch, but it better just be made of juice. Ooh. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> Shelby, did you know this was going to happen? Some parts of it I sure did. Vanessa, though, she hid her true self better than anyone I've ever known. I'm so glad Vanessa never managed to join the coven. She would have drained the wellspring to his last dregs. Very true. I knew something was off with Vanessa, but I could never tell what. I can't help but feel this is my fault. As a high priestess, it's my responsibility to prevent these things from happening. I think this has been brewing for a while, Lena. There's no way you could have seen how this would all play out. Vanessa's stronger than I would have imagined a solitary could be. I can't believe I've been gone for years. I almost didn't recognize Sebastian when he came to hug me. Violet's been quiet since I've been back. Sometimes I'll catch her staring at me, like she thinks I'll disappear again. I cannot process even one more revelation right now. And I am sure I am not the only one. I think everyone needs to get some sleep. And if they can't do that, they need to at least prioritize getting a grip. Cause like, several grips need to be gotten. Vanessa being a witch shouldn't have come as a surprise. She has the personality that most non-witches assume that we do. Okay. Okay, right, so now I gotta bake cupcakes and I don't think I have sugar. And tomorrow being Thursday, Lena's store will be closed, which means I ain't gonna get anything. Ugh. This might take one more stream to actually finish it, unless I finish it offline. All right, that's enough of the forest. Nothing left there. Oh, watch. Oven. No. Oh, sweets. No, I can't bake any cupcakes because I don't have the recipe. Well, fudge. How the hell am I supposed to make some cupcakes? Right, and I don't have the recipe. Can be ball and so, oh, well, okay, fine. I'll just buy cupcakes then. Cause, yeah. Am I ready for bed? I don't have the recipe to make it. I just wanna finish this out. Dang. How long have I been on? Almost three and a half? We'll finish oh. out. We'll finish out the main story. Thomas, uh, this isn't the best time. I'm, uh, expecting someone. Hi, Thomas. Oh, no, 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 no. No, not goblins. Anything but goblins. Oh, wait, uh, I, I'm, I'm Zephyr. And yes, I'm, uh, 
Uh, goblin. Uh, I've been... I've been wanting to chat. I want to clear something up. I think my mom gave your mom a spook in the mine some years ago. Yes, yes. <clears throat> and then the nitrogen levels in our soil started dropping. You did something to leach the nutrients from our land. No, no. It's because the mining company's activities caused flash floods. We goblins would never hurt your farm, Thomas. I got a question for you. I've noticed that things on my farm get repaired all of a sudden. That you're doing? Um, uh, yep, 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 yep. Uh, uh, sometimes I tinker around your farm when I see a need for tinkering. So, uh, what do you say? Maybe we could try being, I don't know, uh, normal with each other? Fine. Yay! Uh, I mean, uh, really? I was dead set against witches, but it turns out you magical folks are good for something after all. So... Who knows? Yippee! Woo! I'm so excited I could just... Whoa. She always do that? Pretty much. <laughs> it's like a puppy. So excited they pee all the time. <laughs> hey, Planty. Water some plants for me today? Yay, thank you, and I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's like, yay, oh my god, Psh, you know, piddle. <laughs> oh my god. All of my brother's dogs. Well, then again, ours too, when, you know, she was a pup. Um, Chicky, where are you? Why are you in there? It's a nice day. Come outside. <laughs> oh, no, not that. Let me give you this. Oh, okay. Uh, so... Ah, shoot, she's not there. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> I mean, I don't have... Fine, you know what? Uh, Angus... Angus should be there. I hope, God, because I need cupcakes. Oops. Grab that. Nope, you're not there. Angus, please be open. Yes. So, how are things with you and Francis? Uh, we both have a lot of adjusting to do. But you know what? Before you helped me, Francis was the only one who made me feel safe. So, he could turn out to be a pile of hedgehogs in a trench coat and... <laughs> I'd still love him. <laughs> I like that. All right. God, there goes my money. I uh, 800. Shit. All right. Oh yay, it worked. Good. Well, so that cat's out of the bag, and there's no stuffing it back in, I suppose. Would just get clawed if I tried. <laughs> Hi, anybody need anything? Oh, yay. Okay, sure. And, yes. Okay. Because I can use money. There was a woman with wings there that night at the mayor's mansion, right? You saw her too? Oh, Marty, I... I can't really talk about that. Oh, that's right. You're one of the witches. You know, the thing I was falsely accused of being. I'm not the only one who's had a false identity around here, am I? 
Wow, get a grip. Even though Mom's back, I feel like the past is still dragging me down. What's a girl to do? Whoa, okay, so even though it's spring, the kids don't have school because, well, they don't have a teacher. And City Hall is closed because, okay. Huh. Um, wait, let's go by Parker. Man, this is great. I owe you a drink at Damon's. Yeah, if only. Tara, I'm sorry about what I said. You know, about witches. I'm still getting used to the idea that witches are real and malcontents aren't. And I'm gonna be honest, it might take me a while, but I'll do my best not to treat you different just because of who you are. That means a lot, Parker. Thank you. Okay, Parker's coming around. Ooh, there's Gloria. Oh, wait, Natalia. Hello. Hey, Tara. Got a minute? <laughs> now that Fairhaven is safe, I've got plenty of minutes. What's going on? I've been thinking, and I still feel real bad about accusing Sophia of being a witch. Not that being a witch is anything terrible. I know, Natalia. It's fine. Of course, the Wraith was part of it, but the Wraith picked me. What can I do to make Sophia forgive me? You can't make her forgive you, but you could create something heartfelt. That's a great first step. Oh, last summer, I did hear her say that she missed her best cast iron pan. It cracked. I could make her a new one, or better yet, a whole set. Oh, that's the spirit. Oh, I'm low on supplies. The next time you're in the mine, do you think you could pick me up a few things? Sure thing. Oh, thanks a million, Tara. You always give the best advice. Here. I can't wait to get started on that cast iron pan. Your wait is officially over. Oh, this is gorgeous stuff. Thanks, Tara. It won't take long to shape this into a set of pans. But then, oh, I gotta give it to Sophia. Hey, it's okay. Just be sincere. Sophia really appreciates sincerity. You're right. Wish me luck. Woohoo! Yeah, I'll take that money. Gloria, if you don't mind my asking, do you remember anything? From when I was trapped in the gloaming? No. I remember bits of visions. Maybe they came from that wraith. But it's nothing I'm gonna fill your mind with. You're so young. Okay. You brought the ingredients I asked for. They're just what I needed. I wouldn't want anyone to stay sick when I can help. Thanks kindly, Amira. There are some things hair of the dog just won't cure. <laughs> All right, come on, Bruno. I need to talk to you. You could have told me I was onto something with the fairies. It was a secret. <laughs> Not so much as you'd think. I always knew someone was fixing my broken fishing poles. My mum's been calling me every week lately. I want to pick up, but then I hesitate so long the phone stops ringing. Yeah, I wish stupid scammers would get that idea. I knew Vanessa had witch vibes. I just didn't know that witches were a real thing. Or that my sister was one. And my mom? And me? 
poor Sebastian. He's, he's like, wow. <laughs> now that the ferry's repaired, I can finally refill my condiment stocks. I had to ration the mustard. Woohoo! I told my parents, and they still can't believe you found Gloria. Or that Vanessa was a dark witch this whole time bit. I think Pa was a bit impressed, to be honest. Wait a minute. Okay, so the fairy is fixed. <gasps> Check it out. Yes. Ah, uh, where's this delivery dude? He was supposed to be on this ferry. The surf is pumping and the winds are gonna clock back on shore soon. Kai, can I help? I, I can wait for the delivery guy and direct him where to go. Really? Oh, I would be so stoked if you did that, but... Tell me the truth. Do you think I'm, like, too obsessed with surfing? That's what everyone tells me. Ooh, passion is obsession. At least it keeps you busy. It's your free time. Dang, I don't know which one. Kai, I think that anyone who really pursues a passion risks getting called obsessive by others. I do worry about your safety sometimes, though. Right on. And I know, I know, I, I'm trying to be more careful. Don't tell anyone, but I'm thinking of going back to pro surfing full time. Ooh. That would mean closing the stall. No! Nothing's definite yet, so I don't want Dr. Syed catching wind of it. I promise it'll be our secret. Ah, thanks, Wahine. I really appreciate it. Ooh, we are finally intimate friends with Kai. It's about dang time. Hey, selling Kim some product, Marty? Actually, we're making a plan. We think it wasn't Thomas who sent me mean notes and vandalized Marty's barn. See, I found some footprints by the cow's paddocks. But they were footprints, not shoe prints. You understand? I mean, I've never seen Thomas outside his house without his boots on. Have you? No, I guess I haven't. I tried following the tracks, but it's weird. It's like they started the paddock instead of ending there. Anyway, we're thinking of setting up cameras to catch the culprit. Don't bother. I think I might have a lead. Really? Cool. Let us know what you find out. Hmm. Great. And see, this is where I need the dang recipe, and I can't get it. Ah. All right, Cameron. Oop, yes, he is here. I can't believe I was <laughs> so eager to see malcontents everywhere. Was I a malcontent all along? Mm, yeah, no. Oh my God, Grandma, do I have the stories to tell you? Is that a recipe you need to fish for? Kind of. It's like um, fishing and, you know, digging up in the mountain area. Um, it's, uh, what the heck is the name of it? The uh, Malasada something whatever. And, yeah, it's like right before I had to restart this game, because of the stupid glitch I had. Wow, sounds like The Sims. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I had gotten the recipe. But then I had the glitch because I could not continue. I kept trying going forward in winter and it wouldn't let me. The game had a glitch. But it turned out that glitch, it wasn't like just me on my end. Other people had that same exact glitch. And now this is the recipe I need. It's like, great, I'm never gonna get it. 
I only have how many hours in this game, but y you know. <laughs> yeah. Perry and the others came out of Ravenwood Hollow to help us defeat Wraith Vanessa. I wonder if Perry will ever travel to this side of the Vale again. Well, you could have told her much more. Wow, there's a whole lot more you could have told Grandma. Now, is... Okay. So they are still here for the moment. They're probably just pulled up inside the house. Ooh, Juliet. Come here, honey. I want to talk to you. I know what Mrs. Soft is doing is wrong, but she was always really nice to me. Adults keep so many secrets. You never know when you're actually being told the truth. Can't argue with that, really. Woo wee! Flowers again? Hell yeah! Here are the cupcakes for the welcome party, High Priestess. Wonderful. Now, I've invited Sophia to join us as well, so that she and Juliet feel comfortable. We'll have the party tomorrow night. Parker won't say much to me or the children. <gasps> I understand him wanting to punish me, but it's not their fault. Oh, he's being a real dick now. The coven's grown since I've been away. It's a delight to see some new faces. Although I'm sure, to you, I am the new face. Lena's done an admirable job keeping things together. Sometimes a trial by fire is what pushes us to grow. Okay. Gloria came over and brought me some soup. It was as if no time had gone by at all. But maybe for her, it hasn't. So much of what Shelby's been warning us about for, like, years? Makes sense now. I gotta pay more attention from now on. <laughs> Dude! Gloria is such a delight. I already see us being best friends. What a woman. I know comparing isn't the greatest thing to do, but Vanessa's taste in jewelry is so tacky. Gloria's been a breath of fresh air. She gives me a vibe and lets me go wild. Okay. Cast any good incantation spells lately? Uh, no. Ugh, me either. I'm not very good at them. Potions, though. I'm a killer. I'm furious with Vanessa. How dare she do this after being welcomed into this town? Okay. Okay, okay. Hang on one sec. Ooh, my little clock is showing 50 degrees right now. Even though I have my fan on, I'm catching a cool breeze at in my window. Ooh. Okay. It's 49 degrees right now. Dang. All right. I suppose. Time to close the window. Be right back.
Okay. So I don't need to have anything else here. See, this is the one I'm... <laughs> yes, I know, because it's Ariel. But that picture tells me I know what I need. I need that recipe. I need to make this, but... Um, dang. Mm. Is it time for bed? Morning, Violet. Oh, it's all the Mirandas. I wanted to see the wild farm again. Violet said you restored it to its former glory. I just wanted to go for a walk. He's still getting used to Mom being here, so he's like her barnacle. I heard that. Otto's called an emergency meeting. Will you come with us? It'd be my pleasure. Good morning. I am truly glad to see you all looking well. Otto soft, everybody. Now, with 100% less slime. There's <laughs> no point in theatrics. I am resigning as the mayor of Fairhaven, effective immediately. No shocker there. He kinda had to step down, right? Meeting Stranger Danger Vanessa in the woods for all those years was corruption. I think. Who will replace you? I would like to nominate Gloria Miranda to be interim mayor until you all can hold another election. Does anyone disagree with that? Good. Gloria, do you accept? Uh, I do. Then that's settled. And it means that Vanessa and I can leave Fairhaven. The what? state attorney general wants to have a conversation about some of my, um, past fundraising efforts. I have something to say. I'm sorry for the way I acted. I may have been possessed by a wraith, but before that, I kept secrets and manipulated people. I was only concerned about myself. I'm sorry to the coven. And to Juliet especially. I've thought about it, and I don't have a place in Fairhaven. Not right now. Or ever. So I've spoken <laughs> to Giva about taking over at the school. I'm quite excited. We'll be taking the next ferry to Milkwater. So long, farewell. Amen. Be to to say no goodbye. <laughs> Violet. Joking. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> hey. I just realized I came to Fairhaven a year ago today. And do you wish that you were on that ferry? Heading back to the city? No. Not for anything. Wouldn't want to be ya. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, look at the cast. That's just nuts.
there were sure a lot of people <clears throat> working on this. Ooh, Arabic with support from Native Prime, Brazilian, Portuguese, Canadian, French, Dutch. Woo! Regular French, German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Russian. Ooh, simplified Chinese? Spanish for Latin America? Dang, what? Wow. A lot of languages. So you have to wait to get through the entire credits before you see the letter at the mailbox. And there's the letter. Congratulations on finishing the first year, Wildflowers. We hope you've enjoyed playing. <coughs> Though you finished the main story, there are plenty more stories to experience. So check in with people over the coming days if you want to see more. We hope you enjoyed the game. And when I started following um, basically Wildflowers, you know, Studio Dry Dock on Twitter... Um, they had let us know there, there was an update. There were new things coming in season two, which basically, uh, you know, kind of like starts now, um, or, or year two, not season two, year two. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to, you know like now I can you know kind of like get into the character get into Giva's character more because she's who I want to romance um, and do everything else so woohoo the voice acting in this game is beyond excellent I know right right I mean the the guy who did Angus coming up with those dad jokes, that's just, yeah, awesome. But we are almost at four hours. Can you believe that? Holy crap. All right, I'm going to go to the main menu. I'll exit out so we can just sit and talk for now, you know, for a couple of minutes. But, woohoo! Yes! The main storyline is finally done. <laughs> I knew once I restarted, you know, it would take me, you know, a grind to get all the money I needed to get this, to do that, to, you know. Yeah. So. This is my second time to, like, finish the game, the, the main storyline. But, yeah, I'm not going to restart, I can tell you that much, but I am going to continue. So, yeah, that was an ending I'd not seen. Oh, really? Nice. Nice. So, at least you got to see it. Woohoo! <laughs> I like it. I like it. All righty, my dear. I have not eaten dinner. Not that I'm hungry, hungry. I'm just meh, you know. But I'm going to now go relax the voice. Yeah, I'll probably get a colder soda. Go watch, I don't know, something. Maybe I, ooh. Go back to Amazon and how many more episodes of the second season of Nashville? I've been rewatching that, but 
I wish I had money to buy season three because I want to continue on. But yeah. Anyway. All right. Lori, I thank you so much. Yay. Um, I will continue the game, but I'm thinking maybe the next stream. I'll go back to my Disney. Um, I kind of ripped up all of my, uh, my pathway in Disney. I didn't mean to. It was just all of a sudden, yeah. I hit kind of like delete and it deleted all the paths. All the paths everywhere. And I'm like, frig. So, yeah. But anyway, <clears throat> no, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, not sure what's going on tomorrow. I know our Wisconsin Badgers are playing because we've got, we've got Ohio or we're at Ohio. I forget. So I'll, <clears throat> I'll be, you know, like tied up with that. <coughs> After that, mm, yeah, ain't nothing much going on. So I don't know. Who knows? But I will post a thingy in Twitter to let you and everybody else know, you know, when I'll go live again. But yeah. So thank you again. Thank you again. Have a good night. Go relax, go watch a movie, go drink something, not the bad stuff, just something. <laughs> I will catch you later then.